Thank you. Uh, I have a bunch of comments here. Uh, first of all, I think that every year it's disappointing that um, the CDPG program doesn't provide more funds uh, for uh, our city. I think when you take a look at the effectiveness of this program and the mission of this program, it really stands as an example of government that works. And uh, it's not just you know, organizations applying to some bureaucrat in Washington saying, hey, this is a great project we have. It's turning this money over to municipalities, over to um, cities throughout the country and saying, what is it that your community wants? What is it, what are the services that your community is providing that you think your tax dollars should go towards? And, um, you know, it's good to see that this program still exists. Um, I think that both with the ideological uh, bent of HUD currently and other, other uh, policy areas, the fact that CDBG has been allowed to continue its, um, its role throughout our country and our city is, is, uh, is definitely a good thing. Um, and I also want to say thank you to the different uh, service providers that are here today. Um, I think it's very easy for people to say, and I think we all do it, is I want to support this business, I want to support this program, I want to support this service that you're providing, but the actual providing of that service is a whole different ballgame. It's a whole different animal when it comes down to how are we going to raise the money that is needed, and there's always more money that's needed for the amount of people that necessarily need some of these services. Um, and then how do you come up with plans and how do you implement those plans in a way that you're benefiting people? And it can be a, a, a very um, difficult process on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think anybody that works in these fields deserves to be thanked over and over and over again. Because it's one, like I said, it's one thing to say, hey, these services should be provided by the community. It's another thing um, to be able to, to provide them. So I want to say thank you to everybody that came out, and I also want to say thank you to the administration for finding ways to necessarily support these services. Um, you know, it's the, the people that necessarily benefit from these services are probably never going to be sitting in these seats. And, and quite honestly, they're not going to be people that we necessarily even have um, you know, an opportunity to talk to about what it is that they're looking for from the Bethlehem community. We rely on social service providers, as every community does, and the ones that we have uh, speak for people that don't have an opportunity to speak.